Hello, movie lovers, and welcome to the show. So today I'm going to be reviewing Baba Ali's film, John. And John clocks in at about two hours long, but you get a lot within those two-hour minutes. And at the very beginning of this film, I definitely like how they play this off, okay? So you have this one person that's driving a motorcycle. You have the passenger of the motorcycle, and they're going somewhere. You don't know where they're going. And then once they get there, you see them get what the passenger get off the motorcycle. He winds up just going point blank range, walks off the motorcycle and then kills the guy that's on stage singing and then gets back on the motorcycle and then they drive off. And that sets the tone for what we're getting. And it has like a very slow burn after that to the point where it's like, OK, I thought this was going to be this big, huge action thing or if you're thinking that this is an action thing this is more of a crime kind of drama kind of feel to it and i definitely like the slow build of this film though too but uh, like i said before so now we have an have the introduction of john and john is just a good guy he has an innocence about him that i really liked about really like about him matter of fact he's just a normal guy trying to make it and basically, he winds up getting a job at a school. He winds up becoming a janitor. He's trying to support his mom and himself, and he, they're trying to uh, pay for rent. And then what it winds up happening is this. His mom winds up going to the grocery store, and she winds up dying. She winds up getting shot. And so after that happens, that's when we get the whole entire deal where he meets up with Dawood. Dawood is actually a hitman for the mob. But before we get into that part, Dawood actually has a sit down with the mob uh, with the mob boss, and you know, I thought that because of the fact of how they were handling the business aspect of it, that maybe the the mother accidentally got shot, and therefore that's and there's a sense of guilt that now Dawood has to take John in because of the fact that he lost his mother because he feels responsible for that. But no, instead, it's totally separate from that. It's the whole fact that John doesn't have a place to live now. He can't even pay rent. He got fired from his job because he was mourning his mother. And matter of fact, he works at a as a janitor. His friend also works as a sewer, uh, someone that cleans the sewer and stuff like that. And he doesn't like that kind of work or anything like that. So he gets a job as a janitor. He winds up losing his job from there. But he also winds up falling in love with a woman named Maria. Maria is actually a teacher in that school. And... I like how he's singing this one song. Maria just kind of walks into the classroom as he's singing, and she's kind of moved by that, right? So after she goes away, he hurries up, goes down to the stairs, and he tells her, hey, can I get your number and everything? She goes, no, I just like the way you sing. I, I'm not really that interested. He goes, he goes, but I'm a good guy. And every guy does this, right? Where basically we're telling the girl, hey, we're a good guy. So why don't you take your chance on me? Because I'm a good guy. I'm a good dude. But I like how Maria counters that and goes, are you sure you're a good guy? Are you a good guy as you say you are? Or do you just think that you're a good guy because everybody says that you are? I like that. I like that line there about how she does that. And so he winds up dating her after a couple of dates and things like that. And I like the chemistry between her and him. But we're getting, um, but my only little gripe here is we don't know how long the relationship is. And then the next minute, you know it, he winds up getting married and you don't have any continuity within how many, how many months or how long they were together. So that's my little gripe with that whole relationship part. But other than that, though, I thought the chemistry worked. I really was invested in Maria and John. I thought those things were good. But when we see Dawood, uh, try and take John in after he loses his mother, because John goes up to him, he goes, look, man. I don't know what to do. I can't even pay rent or anything. I need some, I need a place to stay. I was like, look, you can stay with me and do that. And basically um, you just do little chores for me and things like that. And you'll be good to go. His son, on the, on the other hand, one is a total matter of fact, he's an incompetent, incompetent person. He's too loud. He talks a lot. He tried to get, uh, him whack, not John whack, but he winds up winds up trying to get Dawood whacked, and Dawood winds up finding out, and then of course you know the repercussions of the mob life and stuff like that, and so now it's just John and him, and he's taking him under his wing to train as a as a hitman, as a driver for him, and now he has to do everything that Dawood tells him to do under his wing, 
And I like that whole entire dynamic between the two of them. I really do think that there's like a caring aspect to him at first when you see him and Dawood and the chemistry between John is really good. And then there's also that one part where John is trying to train him, where basically Dawood is trying to train John how to drive a bike, a motorcycle, because he does not know how to drive a, a motorcycle or anything like that, which is why he told his mom that he didn't feel like even bothering to go with her because she had to go on a bus. And he's like, look, I don't even, I don't even drive a motorcycle or anything like that. So I don't feel like even doing this. So, so he feels a little bit of guilt because of the fact that he lost his mom and because of the fact that he feels responsible for her. But that's, um, that's how I looked at it. But going back over to the motorcycle aspect of it, He's like, look, you got to learn. This is your clutch. This is your brakes. Hey, uh, that would. Yeah. Can I go ahead and learn that tomorrow? OK, we're going to learn that tomorrow. That's not a problem. So this is what he does. He said, OK, just going ahead. Use the gas and the clutch. OK, so he uses the uh, gas and the clutch. He winds up falling off off the motorcycle because he doesn't know how to use his brakes. Because, well, you remember that thing that you wanted to learn the, uh, later on the brakes? Yeah, but well, that was important. So I like that whole thing of him teaching him how to do that and then later on you see him uh, see john get a gun from the mob boss because he winds up getting his phone taken away and it's like you see this gun yeah well this is called a cassette and be and this cassette makes noise and that next thing you know it is dawood said look not only is that a cassette but you also have to learn uh, what a decision is when you pull the trigger, if you need to pull the trigger or not. So I like that aspect of it. But yeah, the negative, the two negatives is this, okay? Is the fact that with Maria and him, I wish that there would have been more of how long they were together. But also I wish that this would have, they would have showed us this, okay? So Dabwood is, is, doesn't like the idea of them being together or anything like that, of them being married. And the mob boss is like, look, they're getting married. I don't like this idea. But Dad was like, look, just let them be. Let them be happy. Let them do whatever they want to do. It'll be totally fine. I have this under control. I have a grip on them, on him. It'll be totally fine. And he's vouching for him. And he even says it, that he vouched for him. And they didn't tell us, show us. They just told us. I wish they would have actually showed us that part as well, because you don't see that aspect of him going up the bat for John. Um, but other than that, though, I thought this was a very ba well balanced movie. I thought that uh, the chemistry between all the characters were really good. You care about John. John does wind up becoming jaded to, um, within this whole entire situation because of the fact that the analogy that Dawood gives him is like, "Do you want? Do you know why uh, horses have blinders on them whenever they're racing? Why? So that way they don't see anything to the left or right, so that we can they can look forward." So I like that aspect of him training him in that kind of way of like, look, don't pay, don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Just concentrate on what's in front of you, which is the road, because you're my getaway. You're the person that's going to be doing this. So that's basically what he's using him for. But by the end of this and everything, I think that you wind up seeing the innocence being stripped away from John, which Maria winds up mentioning to him later on in the film. You wind up seeing a lot of things being played out that I think you guys are going to enjoy. I had a lot of fun watching John. I think that you guys are going to like it too. Like I said, just small little small tidbit things. But other than that, though, I think it's a solid film. I think this is actually a pretty decent crime film. That's pretty much everything I had wanted to touch on as far as the movie John goes. I hope that you guys enjoy this review. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And we'll guys, you guys will catch you guys on the next one. And bye-bye.